but I mm -hmm. believe that these parents need to make sure that they're encouraged to get numerous opinions when they're talking about an irreversible <laughs> step. You're not letting them. Can. The state's not saying get another opinion. What they're saying is you can't. What you're actually saying no, is the opposite. No, that's actually not at all what the state said. The state simply said that you cannot perform these procedures, and so parents should get another opinion. You know, that's a very important question. You've got to distinguish uh, the process and what's being offered uh, and recommended by doctors. If you're looking at irreversible surgery, uh, transition surgery, then the state has a right to prohibit that. Uh, you know, that's, that's irreversible. Uh, that's not the best medical practice. Uh, and uh, the state can step in and say no to the surgery. Now, the bill went further than that and actually prohibited uh, even uh, uh, the uh, hormonal treatment. And that, to me, is a decision between the uh, parent and the doctor whenever you're looking at the best care for the children and the medical advice. I don't think the state should step in. So, in fact, uh, to me, those are some of the key issues and how you distinguish that. That issue is going to have to be resolved in court. But that bill went too far whenever it prohibited uh, any type of care uh, for uh, those with uh, gender dysphoria. And uh, again, uh, the surgeries are out of line. That should be prohibited. And I would sign that law. But we don't want to take that too far in interfering with that parent-child and physician relationship. Uh, we need more science to back that up. And so uh, we'll see how that develops in the court.